everyone welcome to my channel i'm kelsey and also welcome to another very passionate vlog today's actually valentine's day which is why i'm wearing my sweater again but uh we actually we have work to do okay before we get into our valentine's day festivities we have work to do so first thing is we got a package from joanne i know what this is if you watched my other videos you may know as well I think this actually got here yesterday, maybe. Ooh, okay. We have two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver Stripes in the color Neon Stripes. I bought this for a custom order. Somebody requested this color in one of my Double Stranded Knit hats. So we gotta make that some point soon yes i wonder how this is gonna work up i think it could be really interesting i have never used this yarn before this color i don't even know if i've seen it in person before but it's i like it i like it i'm vibing with it great i want to get started on this hat but first okay we have a lot of orders to pack because I have been solely working on this sweater for the past three days. And over those three days, uh, we got quite a few orders that we need to package so that we can ship them, okay? We have a total of 18 orders. One of those orders is for this hat, so we can't pack that one, but everything else, I'm pretty sure we can package up today. So, shall we? We have this white and orange peekaboo top for Caitlin in Missouri. We have two rainbow scrunchies for Jenna. We have two rainbow scrunchies and a rainbow hair bandana for Karen. This rainbow cotton hair bandana for Carson. Rainbow hair bandana for Evan. We sold this knit beanie to Shanna. We have a mystery scrunchie order for Jesse. So I'm gonna do a rainbow one because I had an extra and I always sell them in twos and a mint one because I also had an extra. So we'll put those two together. Now we have two gray scrunchies and two mint scrunchies for Casey. We have a Kansas City Chiefs ear warmer for Shanna. We sold this pink peekaboo top to Carolina. We have a pink bandana for Kathy. We have a pair of mystery scrunchies for Jody, and I'm gonna do these two. So I had an extra red one, and then this one I put together with scraps left over. There we are. Next is for Cassie, we have a pink bandana and another set of mystery scrunchies. So I'll put these two together. We have a full light blue one and then this one was mostly made with light blue and then I had to fill it in with gray to finish it up.
Next is an order for Alexandra. We have a pink hair bandana and another set of mystery scrunchies. So we're gonna do this one, which is a combination of blue and pink. And then I've got a gray one over here, so. And that's it. The rest are mystery scrunchie orders and it appears I'm out of scrunchies, so we're gonna have to make more scrunchies. Here are all of our packages, with our order numbers and everything. So I'm just gonna go through and measure them and weigh them so that I can buy the shipping labels. Done. Okay, so happy that is finished and out of the way. We have three orders left, which is this hat that we need to make. And then the other two are mystery scrunchies. So we're just, we're gonna have to knit a hat and we're gonna have to make four scrunchies. That's not too bad. I'm gonna start with the hat because that is our oldest order. And let's see. I'm gonna, I wanna know how this is gonna line up. Cause I, I don't know, um, I'm okay with the colors all like overlapping and stuff. I don't know if I want the black to overlap at all. Cause then the whole, the whole like row will be black. I guess we'll just, we'll let it play out. I'll give it creative freedom. Cause the black does overlap but only for a little bit, like just this much. Cause it starts over here with black and purple and then it's black together in the middle and then it turns into black and pink. So we'll see, we'll see. I'm not gonna get very far on this hat because we have to take our dogs to the vet for a checkup shortly. So I'm just gonna get started go to the vet, come back, and continue. Not much progress, but we must go. <laughs> I'm home now. Uh, I'm making us some burgers for lunch because Burgers are good. Um, <laughs> Terry is drugged up because they gave him some relaxing pills and stuff. <laughs> this is my other dog, Terry. You guys don't see him very often, but it's just making me laugh. Guys, look at this massive chocolate box that I got. I think it's perfect. Lunch is really good. I'm gonna get back to work on this hat, see how fast I can finish it. It's 151, so. I changed my shirt because I didn't want to get dog hair all over it before we go out later. So I'm just gonna wear this one and then I'll change back into my crochet sweater later. What I have to do is I have to go here and go through all 20, but since I already went through all of them, I could just do this and immediately go to the next one because I've already explored it, but it should respawn the different enemies. So that one, see how it doesn't light up? That's a basic bitch. We're looking for one of those fancy wanchy ones. See, that one's not, not. Okay, we finished the hat. Look at it. I think it turned out really cute, honestly. All we need to do is put our little logo tag on there. The colors started like mixing more towards the top and then the black started mixing more, you know? But I like it, I like it, I like it. There we go. We do have quite a bit of yarn left. I'm gonna give it a quick rollover with my lint roller and let's pack it up. And then after that, we have to make four Scrunchies. All right, it's 3.30. The hat didn't take long at all. Let's make some scrunchies. We only have to do four and they take what? Like 15 minutes. So we should be done in an hour. But also maybe I'll just make more than four. 
who knows i would like to use up all of this gray which i think will be more than four i also have this skein that is pretty flat and i have these two skeins of juicy couture i have this one and i have a red one as well i basically i have a lot of velvet yarn and i want to get rid of all this velvet yarn so i need to make scrunchies but also last time we went yarn shopping i bought more velvet yarn so i'm not being very productive in getting rid of the velvet yarn am i hmm okay i'm gonna start with the gray and after that i think i'm gonna move on to this which is a sparkly pink Done. Done. We're gonna see if this gray can squeeze out one more scrunchie. Hopefully it can. Here we go, finished this one, and we have eh, this much gray left. That's definitely not enough to make another scrunchie, but I could definitely pair it with another color. Now I think I'm going to pair up these two colors, see if I can make some kind of scrap concoction. I'm gonna start with this one and um, I'm hoping that this will be enough to single crochet around the scrunchie and then I can make the ruffles with the pink. I think that would be cute. Okay, here we go. I think I'm gonna make a few with this yarn now. The Juicy Couture Sparkle. Coral Haze is what it says. Okay, so I finished one and a half of these. It's time for me to go to dinner and a movie. So I gotta go. I probably won't do anything else tonight just cause I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi. Okay, look, I used up the entire skein of the sparkly pink Juicy Couture Velvet yarn. And we end up with one, two, and a half scrunchies. So I think I'm gonna finish this one off. I don't wanna just fill it the rest in with another color. I was gonna do white. So I think I'm gonna unravel this and then do white on the ruffles and then do another row of pink, like on top of the white ruffles. You'll see it when it's done. Basically, I got two and a half scrunchies, but I, I'm pretty sure I used like a little bit of this yarn for something else. Like maybe I made one or two more scrunchies before I actually started the, these ones. I don't know, I feel like this thing should give more than two and a half scrunchies, but I don't know. I have some plans today with my grandma since yesterday was her birthday, so I'm gonna go over to her house today. We're gonna do some stuff, bake some cookies, maybe cut up some fabric, you know, grandma stuff. So before I do that, I want to make sure that I pack up all of my remaining orders, which is just two orders for mystery scrunchies. So I think I'll put these two together, this one that we finished yesterday and this one, I'll, I'll pair these up and then I'll put this one with this one once we add the white and finish it off. So basically I just need to make like one more scrunchie and then we should pack them up and then we'll see how much time we have left after that. We went and saw Madame Webb last night. I didn't really have like any expectations going into the movie, you know? I had seen the trailer like maybe once and then literally yesterday before we went and saw the movie i had started seeing a few tiktoks here and there just talking about how the movie sucked <laughs> so i was like well i didn't have any expectations in the first place because i mean it's it's a sony movie and then people are saying that it's like as bad as morbius was which morbius was laughable and after seeing madam webb i will agree that it's not um great it was better than morbius okay but i think that is because jared leto <laughs> jared leto is a little cringe morbius is cringe and madam webb was cringe at some points but dakota johnson she just instead of cringing it just made me laugh like it was it was funny even no it like the parts that were making me laugh were not meant to be funny <laughs> 
Basically, I think that if it didn't have Dakota Johnson in it, it would be a terrible movie. But Dakota Johnson just, she pulled it all together. But I personally love Dakota Johnson. I think she is like, she's beautiful. I can't, there's just, have you seen her? That's all, that's all I have to say. Here we go, finished. I think it turned out really cute. We only had a teeny tiny bit of the pink left over. We have two orders to pack. We have this one, mystery scrunchies, and then we have this one, mystery scrunchies. So let's do that. We'll do these two for Taylor in Florida. These can be for Jamie Lee. And, oh, it's going to the United Kingdom. It's time, we're leaving. We're gonna take this giant bag of packages to the post office. And instead of bringing a crochet project, I wanna give my hands a break. I'm actually gonna be taking with me a cross-stitching project. Just in case I have time. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing, but. I'm making some chocolate chip cookies. Flour, sugar, shortening, chocolate chips, brown sugar, baking soda, vanilla, egg, salt. Here's your cookie scoop. Don't yeah. work anymore. I'm home now. It's actually late. It's like 9.30. I went out to dinner with my dad and my stepmom. I think that I make like good progress on my cross stitching project. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm filling in all the yellow spots. So that the color that I'm filling it in with is this light kind of cream color, this one. So all of these were yellow, right? I already finished like this one, this one, and this one. And I think that I did these. And this is where I stopped. I mean, cross stitching takes forever. I think that's good progress. I worked on it for, I don't know, maybe two hours or something. For the rest of the night tonight, I think that I am just going to make some scrunchies. I know I've been making a lot of scrunchies recently, but I'm, I mean like I'm making them and then packing them immediately. So I, I, I don't actually have any in stock. Wow, that was, I don't know, that took a lot to get out. So now I don't have any orders. I'm gonna make some scrunchies. It's low effort. I don't have to think very much about it. And I'm just going to sit on my couch. What can I say? I'll probably only make a few. Like I said, it's 930 and I'm sleepy. So I'm going to go to bed soon. Oh, by the way, look at these. Really pretty. Currently in my scrunchie basket, we have six gray scrunchies. Currently, I would like to use up this red sparkly Juicy Couture Velvet yarn. Whenever we used the pink one, we ended up with, what, three and a half scrunchies? Maybe we can make four. Okay guys, look, looky here. I used up the entire skein of the Juicy Couture yarn, the red one. And I know for a fact that I had not used the red one before. Like I thought that I used the pink sparkly one before, but I have not used the red one at all. And we ended up making three full scrunchies. And then I only had like a little bit left over. So I made this scrunchie, which was, the red was like just around the ponytail. And then I made the ruffles with pink. And then I did a row of single crochets with the red. And I used up like all of it. I had just enough left to weave in the end. So yeah, I used the whole thing, made these four. 
So I'm gonna put these two up as like a listing for the red sparkly ones and then I'll just keep these two together as like a mystery scrunchie bundle, you know? And then I made one more scrunchie because I wanted to use up some of the green velvet that I had. This was all I have left of the green. I made this. It looks quite Christmassy. Well, I don't know, but it's it's very similar to the other one. It's green around the hairband and then also green around the edges, but and then I used white to make the ruffles. This also will be going into my mystery scrunchie pile. So yeah, I got rid of a skein and I made two scrunchies with my leftover scraps. So I'm feeling good, feeling real good. But alas, it is late. It's 11.30 now. I need to get to work and bed. You guys need to get going. This video has got to be posted tomorrow. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video.